This video is going to show you how you can share your mouse on your computer with your laptop or vice versa, which is great. It means you can just switch between the two systems. There we go. And essentially, you've got two processing units as well because this works independent. But you can also do things like share the clipboard. So if you copy something from your main computer, so let's just do that. Let's just copy a piece of text from a website. So there we go. I'm just going to copy this paragraph here and then go across to my laptop, open up notepad and right click and paste what I've just copied from one computer. I've pasted on another. If you're watching this video as a short, click on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what we need to do is we need to install Power Toys first. Now, this is an app that's been designed by developers at Microsoft and released sort of unofficially. These are projects that the developers have been working on in their spare time. So they are perfectly safe. It's just that Microsoft haven't officially released them, but they're little add ons for you, but they are perfectly safe. So what we need to do is we need to open up our browser. OK, once our browser has opened, we go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, delete out whatever is in there and then type in there aka.ms forward slash install power toys all in lowercase and no spaces. If you need to pause this video, write this down or type it in and then unpause the video to carry on. Once you've typed that in, that's aka.ms forward slash install power toys, press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed in the correct address, you should get this page come up here. So scroll down and what you want to do is you really want to find the one that says machine wide. So click on the power toy set up beside it. The numbers may differ on yours as time goes on, but don't worry about that. Just click on power toy set up just to the right of machine wide and let it download. Now this bit might take a bit of time because it is quite a large file. I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's downloaded. So once it's downloaded, then click on open file if you've got an open file there or close down your browser go into any yellow folder, find the downloads folder and then double click on Power Toy Setup. Then click on the little checkbox to the left of I agree to the license terms and conditions. That's if you've read these and you've understood and you agree to them, then click on install. Now the screen might darken and it might say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Microsoft there and the Verify Publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then move your mouse over. Yes, left click once. It will then start to install. Now this bit might take a bit of time. Whilst this is installing, you need to download the same app on the other computer. Again, on there, open your browser, go to aka.ms forward slash install power toys and download the machine wide power toys and then install it in the same way as you've just installed this one. Once it says installation successfully completed, click on close. Then you'll probably see down by the clock this little power toys icon. Double click on it and then after a moment, Power Toy settings will appear. So let's just scroll down. And what we want to do is we want to restart Power Toys as an administrator. So click on Restart Power Toys as administrator. You'll get this box come up again saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Again, as long as it says Microsoft and the Verify Publisher is Microsoft Corporation, click yes. It will then reload. It will look no different. But what you might want to do is scroll down again and where it says they're always run as administrator, turn that little switch on just to the right of it. And then it always runs as administrator. So you saves you having to restart it again. Then on the left, you want to scroll down to mouse without borders. Left click once on that. And if enable mouse without borders is switched off, click on the little off switch just to the side of it to switch it on. And there we go. So it gives you a couple of 
things here. You've got a key it comes up with. If you've got nothing in the key there, click on new key and that will give you a new key. You've also got the host's machine name. Now what you need to do is you need to click on connect there on the other machine and you want to put that security key in there and the local machine's host name there. You want to pop that in there, but like I say, on, on your other machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you've got to be careful while you're doing this because it is case sensitive. So as you can see on the other machine, I've put in those details and then all I do is just click connect. And as you'll now see when I move my mouse over, it will go to the other machine. And if I move it back, there you go. It goes back to my main desktop. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can share your mouse with another machine or even up to three other machines. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos on here covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money.